we don't know much about the new creature in Star Wars, The Last Jedi, but we still want one. USA Today The Porgs were inspired by the puffins that lived on the island where scenes set in AHCH2 were filmed, photo, Lucasfilm. Without the inclusion of mystical creatures, a galaxy far, far away would look just like, well, Ireland. In Star Wars, The Last Jedi, in theaters now, in addition to the regular aliens, droids, and Chewbacca, filmmakers created brand new otherworldly species that injected extra magic into filming locations like Skellig Michael, the real location of Luke Skywalker's, Mark Hamill, remote island. So what's the deal with these new creatures? Ben Morris, creative director at Industrial Light and Magic, ILM, says his team of 1,000 artists created more than the expected fantasy in director Ryan Johnson's new chapter of Star Wars, contributing to 2,000 shots in the final film. Spoilers, these are the big Last Jedi reveals you're looking for. More, the new Chewbacca feels bad about shoving a porg in The Last Jedi. Everything we created was in service of the story, rather than spectacle just for the sake of spectacle, Morris says. Audiences have become too sensitized to this kind of use of visual effects and can quickly become bored if there isn't a compelling story to justify the imagery. We have every confidence that the audience will believe the character is part of the world it inhabits and the story the director is trying to tell. Morris chatted with USA Today about who the new non-human characters are and how they got their looks. Hometown, AHCH2, Luke Skywalker's Remote Island what they are, when we were on Skellig Michael, which stands in for AHCH2, it had tens of thousands of puffins, says Morris. It's no surprise that the last Jedi's now famous porgs look and act a lot like those inquisitive seabirds, only fatter, furrier, louder and beakless. Behind the scenes, about half of the porgs seen on screen were puppets, says Morris, but their adorable eyes were too big to open and close in real life. The visual effects team added the blinking, twitching and breathing to the playful creatures. The crystal critters called Vulptex make magical, jingling sounds. Photo, Lucasfilm, Hometown, Krite, the salt-covered mineral planet. What they are, they're like foxes, if foxes had horns and a layer of 25,000 crystals instead of fur. The magical creatures' coats refract light to show shimmering rainbows of color. Behind the scenes, the critters took their look from an abstract piece of crystal sculpture, says Morris. The idea was, what happens if you replace fur with crystals? The fathiers are a giant mix of horse, dog, cat and even lion in the face. Photo, Jonathan Ali slash Lucasfilm Limited. Hometown, Canto Bight, the wealthy city with casinos and fathier races. What they are, they're the first thing, the director, wanted to speak about three years ago, when planning began on The Last Jedi, Morris says. Though they're enormous, rideable and reminiscent of the Tauntauns in The Empire Strikes Back, the Fathiers are a completely new species, that's a, mixture of a giant horse, dog, cat, and lion, says Morris. The gentle giants can run 50 mph which is why they're used for racing and are large enough for a six-foot-tall man to stand under their bellies.